सर हमने कल देखा कल देर रात में काफी तेज झटके भूकंप के महसूस हुए और इसका केंद्र हमने देखा नेपाल था लेकिन बाकी इलाकों में क्या इसको लेकर कहने को रहा एक्चुअली आप जब देखेंगे कि नाइन्थ नवंबर 2022 2022, नवंबर 2022, देर वॉज द वन अर्थ पेक इफ यू सी दिस द मैप यू कैन सी दिस नाइन्थ नवंबर 2022, 6.3 मैग्नीट्यूड का अर्थक हुआ था ये देख रही है इसके बाद से आप इधर में जाइए तो फिर जनवरी 2023 में 5.8 मैग्नीट्यूड का हुआ दिस दिस अर्थक अगेन ये नवंबर के जिस अब साउथ ऑफ द ईस्ट में सिक्स पॉइंट टू अर्थक अक्टूबर टू तो इसका मतलब यह है कि ये जितने आप लाइन देख रही हैं तो हिमालय का जो भी नेपाल हिमालय है कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट सस्मोटेक्ट्रॉनिक सेटिंग्स इसमें बहुत से फॉल्ट्स होते हैं डिफरेंट फॉल्ट्स जो कि सस्मोजेनिक फॉल्ट होते हैं जो फॉल्ट जब होता है फॉल्ट क्या दो ब्लॉक का डिस्प्लेसमेंट है मीन्स इट इज द डायनेमिक ऑब्जेक्ट समटाइम्स फॉल्ट स्टार्टेड टू बी क्वाइसन समटाइम्स फॉल्ट स्टार्टेड टू बी डायनेमिक तो अभी जो नेपाल अर्थक्वेक का जो आपने देखा होगा ये जो सबसे बड़ा अर्थक्वेक हुआ था 7.9 पॉइंट नाइन मैग्नीट्यूड का ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ये इसका लोकेशन था एपी सेंटर था और कल जो अर्थक्वेक हुआ तेईस बज के बत्तीस मिनट चौवन सेकंड में रात में वो ये अर्थक्वेक जो है ये नवंबर वाला जो अर्थक्वेक है टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू जस्ट इट वॉज द ईस्टर्न साइड ऑफ दिस नवम्बर अर्थक्वेक But it was all propagated. If you come here, then you can see the 7.9 earthquake after shock occurred 7.3, biggest after shock, fourth after shock. So it was occurred in between the November earthquake as well as it's the after shock of the 7.9 earthquake, 25th of April 2015. Uh, why? Why it is happening? Because when the one earthquake occurs, it, it releases the strain energy. That strain energy accumulates somewhere. And it keep on accumulating and keep on increasing. So once is the shearing strength or bearing strength of the rock material exceeded, then that zone or that zone rock ruptures means breaks, and then earthquake happen. So several types of the earthquakes: five point eight, six point two, six point three, again six point four occurred in this zone. So huge amount of the strain energy has already been released. Okay, has already been released. But if you come to the rupture propagation, this is the rupture propagation directions. It was along the rupture propagation. Means 7.9 magnitude earthquake on 25th April 2015, 15. and again its after shock is the 12th May 2015, 7.3 magnitude. This, if you draw a line, if you draw a line, then this line was in a straight line. Okay? okay. So this is along the strike of the the Himalayan fault zone. Okay, so there is the uh, called the MCT main central thrust. It is called MBT main boundary thrust. It is called HFT main frontal. Thrust. It is different thrusts. So this is the coming on from there. This is the older, okay, and this is younger than the MCT, and this is the youngest than the MCT and younger than the MBT. So so strain energy is different. That's why it is the releasing. So release of the energy is good sign because six point four magnitude earthquake releases the energy too much. That means this zone is started not going to accumulate so much energy for bigger earthquake of more than seven or more than that. Okay. So it was actually the indication that this all seismogenic faults are now activated. Okay. Uh, That you said that uh, this is not the first time that uh, mm. kind of uh, earthquake happen in Nepal, but why always epic center is Nepal? Sir? Because ne Nepal is very complicated. You see, mm -hmm. it was the whenever the uh, here you can see the there is a sus central seismic gap zone they are telling. Mm. Okay, means there are no big earthquake in 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 the Kangra earthquake as well as in the. Uh, 1934 uh, Bihar earthquake. Now this is called a gap zone, but this zone has a lot of the potential of generating energy because not the earthquakes of the bigger magnitude occurred any time. So they are telling it is such a gap zone for impact the big earthquake. But we did not tell like that. We tell that that gap zone has not a big earthquake happened. But now there is no chances of the biggest earthquake if there is the zone is ruptured 6.4 and 7.9 and 7.3. But in between there is a chances of the magnitude in between. 6.4 and 7.3. Like when this 
It's not an earthquake, and the 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 after success of the earthquake, there is a chance of the occurrence of the earthquake of the magnitude lesser than that. So maybe 6.2, maybe 6.1, maybe 6.4, 6.3 in these gap zones. Because I told you that when the stress energy released is accumulated somewhere. So the part which is spared, hmm. the part which is spared, hmm. the part which is spared is liable to rupture again. Hmm. And why it is so? Because it is the so much false complication you can see mct is now going to have a lot of the M mct has changed of its ramp its all positions is changing there is a lot of the culminations called uh, in the in the geological age there is a culminations or there is a buckling of the fault so these all faults are itself a very stressed so a stressed fault is going to break aap jadi isko dekhengi to aapko main abhi set map dikhaunga ye himalaya has already connected to the different fault zone to the delhi Like the, the like, like so many Haridwar reaches are there. There is a the, lot of the Mujafrabad faults are there. There are the, so many uh, lineaments which is connected to the to the Nepal. And Nepal is the nearest in three to four hundred kilometers. So whenever the shaking takes place, it tries to propagate in the directions of the propagations, and also where there is the weaker zone, it has started to propagate. Okay. So the, in Delhi, we feel the intensity. Of the magnitude of intensity in scale of four to five in between four to five intensity. Original intensity was more about six six intensity was there in the Nepal. Mm -hmm. But when Delhi come, we got the about in between four and five. So that's why it was the strong shaking we felt. Mm -hmm. Why we felt because the gangetic alluvial uh, materials as the amplified when the shaking take place. As a result, when amplification taking place, the the person who are staying in the taller building in the high rise building. In the in the highest floor, they felt more than the ground floor people. Okay, so it was very nearer and it was very much connected to the, the to the Nepal Himalaya or any of the Himalayan part of Delhi. It is very nearer to that. So you can see the shaking can be felt there. And many parts shaking is not only that. In Uttar Pradesh, uh, we have felt the shaking. In the many places, they have already got got the shaking. So if you wanted to see this. <clears throat> then I can show you here. This is actually the shaking map. Okay, this is your shaking map. So this is the actually epicenter in the Nepal. This was the year like I. Okay, so here the intensity you can see the the color bar. The intensity was more than about this uh, the six to seven. Okay, this 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 was actually yellow is in the side, but at the center. It was the seven intensity, very a strong intensity at Nepal. But when you come to Delhi here, Delhi is in this side. Okay, so you come to Delhi, then you, you see it was the reduced. Okay, it come to Delhi, it was the reduced, and it was in between there. Here is some somewhere Delhi. Okay, so here is the Delhi. So it was in between three and four, four and five in between. There was the this and this color, sharp blue color. Okay. So that's why, because of this four and five intensity, each about perceptible intensity. So intensity is the degree of shaking, but magnitude six point four is the content of energy. Okay. Mm. So that's why more energy six point four generated, and then we felt the shaking also. So Delhi, already you can see the many many places it was gone to to many uh, even it was going to the different part of the Bhutan also. Bhutan people also felt the shaking. Okay. So in Indian part. You can you can come here in the Lucknow they got the second okay so many places Prayagraj has got the second okay so they the, the, they got the even the second was feeble second will go away from from further air yeah, but most of the part of the Himalaya in the entire this Himalaya from Bhutan to 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 Himachal Pradesh they got the second. ओके कई लोगों की डेथ भी हो गई है तो क्या फ्यूचर में भी इस तरीके एक्चुअली अर्थक्वेक डज नॉट किल द पीपल इट इज द स्ट्रक्चर दैट किल्स द पीपल सो यू कैन सी 6.4 पॉइंट फोर अर्थक्वेक अकर इन सोनितपुर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन इन द इन द इन द इन असाम देर वॉज नो नो बडी डाइड ओके बिकॉज दैट बिल्डिंग इट्स इज विथ विथ स्टैंड बिकॉज ऑफ द अर्थक्वेक सेकिंग ऑफ दैट डे बट ही आर माइंड इच्यूड इज सिक्स पॉइंट फोर बट स्ट्रक्चर दे आर इन दैट दे डिड नॉट कोप अप ओके The structure did not cope up, and it was the night. Most people had slept also because it was the about twelve night, midnight. So it was. You can imagine that 
the 23, 32, 40, 54 seconds. It was more nearing the 12 o'clock. So most people slept in the Himalaya. Okay, Himalayan region. So this causes that in the sleeping, if such type of shaking happens and the weaker building damage, nobody get the any signal to come out from that. So most disastrous occurrences of the earthquake is the midnight. If it was a, happen in the day, maybe may, nobody can die because everybody is out of the house. Okay, so this was vulnerability is because of the time, vulnerability of this uh, the, of the, this earthquake in that surrounding region is because of the time. It is midnight nearing, and then it occurs all of the sudden since and and also the vulnerability of the building in which the people died. So that was actually proper cause. Okay, so we don't worry, but we have to have very much cautious that our structures must not be damaged due to the earthquake and we are living there, there in the vicinity of the Himalaya or the vicinity of even the Yamuna because you can see the shaking in Yamuna near the Yamuna river is more because it was the, uh, Gange, uh, the alluvial materials. So that got the amplified. So now time has come that we have to have an earthquake risk resilient structure. What the Ministry of Earth Sciences, our central national subcenter, national center for seismology is the nodal agency. We are doing seismic microgenesis study to generate the parameter for earthquake risk resilient structures and infrastructures. So the Himalaya, in the, particularly in the Nepal Himalaya, you are seeing from 2015 till today the activity is taking place. Some is the very strong, some is the moderate, some is the micro. But micro occurrences is good, okay. It was the minimizing not to occur the chances of the big earthquake. 6.3, 6.2, 6.4 has happened in the within one year in that zone. You can see the west Nepal and as well now eastern part of the Nepal, northeastern part of the Nepal. So I think the, the, the signal is that the stress is religion.